Indy and Jim. Nil nil here, West Ham, Chelsea. Are you guys blowing bubbles or you you uh, a bit upset that you didn't get the win? No, we're, we're welcoming, I think, the score. I think uh, we've had a bad run of form, but actually we had a fantastic result last week. I think today against uh, league leaders, by the way, Chelsea, they've had a bit of shit at the moment recently, but actually they're, they're top of the league. I think it's a fantastic result for us to draw nil nil. I think we had the best chance of the game. Darmalenko's header should have should have buried it. Um, I think I think there's a point is to be embraced. I mean, obviously there's been a lot of uh, negativity around the club in the last last year or so. Do you think you know there's light at the end of the tunnel? You got a good manager in Pellegrini, signed some good players. You know, Anatovic has stayed. It was talk of him going to United. He was mixing and matching the. Uh he was mixing and matching the, the team. Like he didn't know what team he, what he didn't know what our best formation was, what our best players was. And but now, like he seemed to find that he changed the formation. Was it four three three against Everton? Kept the same starting eleven. Obviously, uh, Arnautovic was injured, but he's sort of changing for Antonio. So it's sort of like for like. Yeah, Antonio. Yeah, he's like he was a perfect replacement today because he's, all we needed is someone against Chelsea. I think their average uh, their average possession this season up until today was seventy one percent. So they was obviously going to have all the ball. Just needed someone to chase down. Hey, listen, we, we, did, did, we got to be delighted. We got to be delighted, right? We're West Ham, right? We're Expectations of West Ham fans is we want to play beautiful football. It's a team in transition. What, 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 what is the West Ham way? So listen, I think right. there's right. it, that's it. I think it's, it's, it's having the passion for the fucking badge on your shoulder. That's West Ham way. It's, it's, it's passing football. We're, it's we're, giving we're, it, we're, giving we're, it you. West Ham yeah. have never won the league in the history, right? The West Ham way is fighting for your for your badge. It's trying your hardest. <laughs> Win or lose, it's fighting for your badge. And that's what we've lost in the last, I think, 10, 10 or so years. Like it's been a long time. We've had a good couple of seasons here and there, but now, at the moment, we, we, we want players that are just fighting for the badge. Uh, people like Zabaleta, Mark Noble, who's getting a lot of criticism at the moment, I think they embrace actually what we're going for at the moment. The West Ham way is aggression and fighting for the badge. I think lo if we lose the game, we lose the game. Sometimes people are better than you. That's fair enough. But actually, I think fighting for your badge is, is everything that we, we want. That's the West Ham way. Get That's rolled over, you're in trouble. If we'd, if we'd have played like that today against Chelsea, we, I think we actually played quite well. Like Exactly what he's just said, fighting for the badge. Everyone doing their job, putting a shift in, concentrating, switching on, shutting down, closing down. And if Chelsea, at the end of the day, one of their players, Hazard or William, whoever, turns on a little bit of magic, bangs one in the top corner, and we lose 1-0, you can't, you can't complain about that. You kept their, you know, a lot of their big players quiet today. Um, I mean, going forward, do you guys see yourself finishing in the top 10 or, or challenge for the top 7? I think so. I, I, think, I think we'll finish top 10. We've, we've had a really tough start for the season, fixtures-wise. Um, we had a couple of home, home results that we didn't, didn't finish off. I think we, sh we should have got some points for them. But actually, we're, we're like seven or eight players, I mean, and it's going to take time for them to gel. If we'd have played like that, so if we'd have had like Bournemouth and Wolves up next rather than previously, if we'd have played like that against Bournemouth, we, we would have absolutely. Realistic. We've got to stay realistic in terms of there's top six clubs. Everyone knows who those top six are. They're, they're playing their own mini league. I think six downwards, there are four or five worse teams than West Ham in this league. Teams that don't have the experience, who have not played this type of league football before. So anywhere from 6 to 13, 14, West Ham established themselves there, would be absolutely fine. And that's, I think, our expectations. Brilliant. Well, guys, great, great stuff. All the best. Cheers. All the best for the season, man. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Take care.